Bonjour guys! <laughs> Welcome to join me in cleaning for free in France. Look at this amazing apartment! But have you heard the news? There is a really severe bed bug problem going on in France right now. Especially in Paris. Bed bugs are everywhere and people are throwing their beds onto the streets because of them. It's crazy! This home is crazy, but also so beautiful. Oh my god, look at this punch! <laughs> I'm dying. Scrub Daddy is dying. But here we are, cleaning this wonderfully filthy apartment for free. Coming up in this video. And here's a quick announcement. Guys, I'm moving today to Miami. And I'm looking for dirty homes to clean. So if you know anybody who needs my help in Florida, especially in Miami, please send me pictures of the apartment to my email auricacleaning at gmail.com. And hey, I'm not alone because this is amazing Brogan from Canada. And this is my brother Santeri. <laughs> and today we are cleaning together. Together. We are having so much fun, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce Brogan later to you, but first I have to tell you a bit about this apartment. So, I received an email from a woman named Adeline. She said, Dear Ari, I'm writing this email as a big cry for help. Let me tell you about my father. He's 71 years old and I'm sorry to say his apartment is full of trash in every room. I used to live with him until 2019. I suffered from depression for almost 3 years before I moved out and got better with therapy. The amount of work this clean represents is enormous and I never felt capable of doing it alone. My dad is sick and physically incapable of helping. We both have low income, so we never had the chance to hire help in our own. This is a cry for help. He would never ask for help himself as he is very ashamed of the apartment. No one except for me is allowed to come in. He doesn't want anyone to know how bad the situation is. Please find pictures of the disaster below. I sincerely hope this message finds you. Dearly, Adeline, his daughter. The message definitely found me. And my sponsor Scrub Daddy flew me and my brother from Finland and Brogan from Canada to help Adeline and her father. They flew us in first class and booked us sweets with flowers and everything. That's crazy. Crazy as this tab. It's broken, Adeline told us. It's sad. But now I want to talk to you about the therapy that helped Adeline because she was raised here, in this field. And something terrible happened to her mother, which I'll share later to you. However, she has overcome everything according to her own words with the help of therapy. Nowadays, Adeline is doing better and keeps her own home tidy. It doesn't matter where you come, speaking out really helps. So a huge thank to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp has over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network and can match you with a therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased opinions. With BetterHelp, you will have access to a wide range of expertise than what may be available in your area. Sometimes starting therapy can be hard. It may be difficult to find a therapist to match your needs. And some people even find the face-to-face -face interaction uncomfortable. That's why I love BetterHelp. It gives you all the benefits of therapy, but from the comfort of your own home. With BetterHelp, you can attend to therapy via phone call, video call, or even via messaging, if that is what you prefer. You can choose whatever you feel the most comfortable with. If this sounds good to you, check out BetterHelp through this link on screen. To get started, you just fill out questionnaire to help assess your needs in therapy, and in most cases, you will get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. You also be able to schedule sessions with your therapist when it's convenient for you. 
If the therapist isn't a great match for you for any reason, you can easily switch out to a new therapist at no additional cost, without stressing about insurance or who is in your area or anything like that. People spend hours at the gym perfecting their bodies. Why not give your mind such attention as well? Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a happier, healthier life. If you want to try out BetterHelp, go to betterhelp.com slash and get 10% off your first month. I have also linked them in the description below. As I earlier mentioned, Adeline managed to move forward in her life with the help of therapy. But the question is, from what? So here's the story, guys. Adele's mother, Teresa, and her husband, Charlie, moved to this apartment in the summer of 1990. And two years later, luck smiled upon them. Teresa finally became pregnant. Charlie and Teresa were on cloud nine, living through exciting times, I can imagine. Adeline was born a much wanted and loved child. However, happiness didn't last long. Adeline's mother passed away when Adeline was only 13 months old. Could you imagine what a sorrow and a loss? Charlie, her father, did his best, raising his daughter at Miss the Mess alone. Here, they lived here together almost 30 years. Here guys, I quickly want to show you what Adeline's room looked like. It haven't been touched ever since. Look, it's so full of trash and toys so the door doesn't even open. And yes, she slept in that bed. It must have been heart-wrenching for Charlie to lose his wife. Man, I can't even imagine and be left alone with a young child. Oh, the pain of losing a loved one and shouldering the responsibility of raising a small child alone is unimaginable. Like raising a child alone, but at the same time your wife is gone. I don't know. I just hope he received support during that difficult time. And I think the apartment probably remained tidy initially, but we found some diapers here, so I think that the mess started forming quite early. And when I met Charlie for the first time yesterday, he was a very pleasant man, even though he didn't speak a word of English. <laughs> but I didn't mind at all. He was probably really nervous, but that's okay. But yeah, guys, when I read Adeline's email, I immediately sent it to my Canadian cleaning friend, Broga. And we decided that we definitely wanted to help Charlie and Adeline. We agreed on a cleaning day and contacted our amazing super sponsor, Scrub Daddy. You know Scrub Daddy. Ah oh, man, <laughs> I can't thank them enough for everything. Do you guys love their products? Because I do. And you know me guys, I use Scrub Daddy products all the time. Like all the time. And I definitely never ever couldn't use them if they were bad. I wouldn't be able to clean these super messy grimy homes in any way. No way. I mean, I don't need to keep telling you all the time how these products work, because you can see it for yourself. <laughs> and as I mentioned, they flew us here like royals. And before that, when I was in Finland, I texted them that they could book a hotel near the this house. So I went online and checked that the nearest hotel costed like 300 euros for three nights. I think it's almost the same in dollars, I guess. So not bad at all. And I would have been perfectly satisfied with that. But <laughs> guess what? They called me and said, no, no, Aure. They want to book us suites in the city center. And I, I, 
I, I just couldn't refuse. <laughs> I mean, they are wonderfully crazy. It would be enough if their products were good, but they also want to do good with us and help people. And they are encouraging us forward all the time. I love them not only for their products, but also for who they are as a company. And now guys, we have a guest star here. <laughs> are you ready? Are you? <laughs> because I want to introduce you the voice of Scrap Daddy. Welcome! <laughs> hey, hey, hey everybody! Thank you, Ari. Thank you for that intro. So yeah, Ari did an incredible job at explaining who Scrub Daddy is as a company. We care about people and we care about the influencers and creators that we work with. You know, if we're going to have Ari come in and clean an entire house like this, we're going to put her up in a nice hotel. It's the least we could do. And I got to say, this lady is insane in the best way possible. She just loves to clean. It's as simple as that. This isn't a show. It's not an act. She loves cleaning everything. And due to the insane and wacky nature of Scrub Daddy as a company, why would we not want to be working with her? Match made in heaven, honestly. But jokes aside, we absolutely love that we are able to legitimately help people by cleaning their homes like this. You would be shocked how much it means to people when their homes are cleaned like this and they've lived in a home that is not clean for quite a long time. And dang it, do we love it! Don't we love seeing people smile? See what I did there? You know, because Scrub Daddy has a smile fit. You get it. And we want to keep doing this. We want to help as many people as possible. We want to clean your house. And so does Ari. Trust me, she is just sitting there waiting for something to be cleaned. It's nuts. So yeah, shout out Ari for doing such an amazing job. And yeah, like Ari said, we're a company that makes incredible cleaning products. We all know that. But our mission as a company is not to just create great cleaning products. We want to help people. We want to make people happy. And this is a great example of just that. With the help from Ari and all the creators that we work with on social media, we are able to legitimately make people smile. That's my time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I mean, I just love them. I love these sponges, but I love Scrub Daddy guys, all of them. <laughs> And without further ado, I want to introduce my best cleaning buddy straight from Canada, Brogan, as known as not the worst cleaner. We've had such a great time together. Like guys, we've loved so much. She's absolutely wonderful and tells me all the time how crazy I am. And to be honest, she's not wrong. <laughs> but. I want to share something with you. Because the first time I was at Scrub Daddy party, uh, it was in Philadelphia. Yeah, Brogan spent time with me, even though I wasn't that good at speaking English. I mean, I wasn't even this good, but still she spent time with me. And I appreciate that a lot. I don't forget that. And then at the hotel, I braided her hair. <laughs> like immediately, she felt like a true friend. And she also keeps complimenting me. And it is so sweet because in Finland, we rarely, guys, rarely compliment each other. So if, if I say to you, I like your jacket or you are beautiful, I really mean it. You don't say it if, if it isn't true. Like, it's always true what we are saying, because we say we don't say it that easily, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we say things like that once a year, maybe. <laughs> and if I call you my friend, it means that I can tell you my secrets. Calling a friend is a serious thing in Finland. So it makes me happy because I can definitely call Brogan as my friend. <laughs> And I love Brogan because she also loves helping people, as I do. Now, let her introduce herself. 
Hey, I'm Brogan, better known as Not the Worst Cleaner. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I have three little boys and my background is actually in psychology. Although I started studying early childhood development, after years of studying went on, I quickly became obsessed with the correlation between mental health and cleaning. I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was six years old. So by the time I was in my 20s and deep into university, I realized very quickly how strong of a correlation cleaning had with mental health. To simplify it for those who don't understand, people who struggle with their mental health can also struggle with finding the motivation to clean. And in turn, the lack of cleaning and constant clutter can actually trigger a low-grade fight-or-flight mode, so in turn, it can worsen mental health. It leads to extreme overwhelm and can cause even the simplest of tasks to seem impossible. So when lockdown hit, I decided to take to the internet and start making cleaning videos to help people. I would explain the correlation between mental health and cleaning, how it can affect people and the different cycles you can get stuck in, as well as how to get yourself out of certain cycles like procrastination and avoidance, as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how to start when you don't know where to start. Something you will never see from me is judgment. There are so many people out there who grew up not knowing how to clean. Because either they were never shown, it was used as a punishment where their parents just yelled at them to clean up without actually explaining how to do it, or maybe they had a parent or a housekeeper that cleaned for them. But you would be surprised at how many people have no idea how to clean even the basic things. So I covered all of the above in my videos, and after about a year later, I had 3 million followers. I was getting hundreds of DMs and emails every week from people who were living in hoarder-like situations where their homes had become unlivable and they were so overwhelmed that they did not know what to do or where to start. And the cost of hiring someone for cleanups like this is absolutely astronomical. I felt like I wasn't doing enough to help. So after meeting Ari in Philadelphia at the Scrub Daddy Grand Opening, and after becoming the best of friends, she quickly convinced me that I should be doing these free cleanings too. And coincidentally, as soon as I got home from the trip, I had an email waiting for me from a single mom with three kids who was in desperate need of my help. I actually ended up finding out that her youngest was actually in my oldest class in school. So it just felt like the timing was right and everything lined up and this was something I had to do. After a very long weekend of cleaning and 28 industrial sized garbage bags later, I had their place looking like a home again and I returned home to receive a video of her kids walking into their nice clean home and literally crying tears of joy. It was in this moment that I knew this was something I was going to be doing forever and now almost two years later I have been doing weekly free cleanings and now here I am in Paris with one of the most amazing people in the world, Ari, continuing to change lives one clean home at a time. Hey, thank you Brogan and she's right because this home is soon done or kitchen is done <laughs> so basically done almost done well look at the floor isn't that amazing <laughs> oh Sandari went uh, to purchase this rug I think it fits there perfectly I said to him something yellow and of course we are going to leave some chief cream and scrub daddy and look at this transformation, guys. This is unbelievable. Huge. I can't wait that the Adeline and Charlie comes home and sees this. But before that, we still have to clean Charlie's bedroom, uh, bathroom, toilet, and the living room. So, are you coming back next week? Yes, you are. You have to, because you have to see the whole house. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>